What's up everyone, it's your boy Shaki here and today we're doing the Penal Colony Map Guide. Today's a special one because we're actually going to be finished a series for once and this is the map guide conclusion, for now at least, until they add new maps. Okay, so first things first, definitely shoot all of the turrets because you never know when you gotta pot out and one of those turrets is still going to be up and shoots you just as you're coming out. It's a bit of a scary thought to, you know, loot all, everything you want and then all of a sudden you come outside and you're getting blapped by a flak turret. So definitely shoot all of those, it takes three shots each so definitely hit those up before you go inside again another classic by your boy atu the map making supreme big shout out and thanks for all the hard work on this one my guy all right so as you can see there's clearly three airlocks that are super close together and two that are very far apart so being cognizant of where you're spawning is definitely important in this one there's safe spawns and then there's spawns with people very close to you and lots of firefights ahead but luckily it's a pretty straightforward map a very circular situation you can clear everything circular and then move to the center go upstairs and find the vault uh fairly easily just gotta watch out for those pesky shotgun ai all right so we're gonna be spawning in at visitation one of my favorite spots and as always we're gonna have a handy dandy little marker for where i'm at on the map now generally this map is not one that you can just safely loot right away you always want to clear the location make sure that every corner every area every footstep is accounted for because you never know when you've got a shotgun ai breathing down your neck all right so we've got our first secret stash right in visitation here again this is an area where there's a lot of players so we got to be really careful that they don't get bum rushed or accidentally bump into a team in this area because these three airlocks are super close together and there's a lot of good loot right in this area right next to the locker rooms and i'll show you that soon i always like to check this locker behind the office table because you never know what you'll find it's usually pretty decent loot and then speaking of these lockers in the gym locker room area check that out as well as the med bag and you've got a little bit of food generally on the top corner right there now i would say 90 percent of my fight happen in this general vicinity especially right off the bat so definitely be careful make sure you check the airlocks before you proceed gym itself hardly has any loot in there it's just a generally large area they might change it someday but for now it's pretty pretty barren i would say if i were to spawn in this area i'd definitely just move right over to gym locker room area or try to move left and just going around to each of the airlocks in one direction until i reach back to the same point where i spawned and then move in through the tower feeling like everything has been kind of cleared out or just following the gunshot. Okay, heading towards depot, really difficult to find the penal colony token. So I generally try to check the bodies, but it's a very rare piece to get. I'm usually, I think maybe in my whole time playing Marauders, I would have gotten it once and maybe it was off of a body or something. I've never found it in raid. So generally I just try to ignore the idea of a depot and penal and just continue to do my looting normally. Now around the map, there are three security booths that you can check. Those are significant in my eyes because there's ammo and meds in there along with bodies and sometimes foot lockers depending on which one you're checking so definitely check those out this utility room is not really that important it's a good place to check just in case for maybe a blowtorch in that blue container all right let's go check out the library security room so we've got a body a foot locker office shelving ammo crate in the corner there but no meds or money in here i also find that these security rooms are really not easy to defend so be very careful about looting in here and getting stuck in here as a team uh, always listen for the footsteps and make sure that you've got an escape route to rotate and figure out a new attack strategy. Okay, so moving in behind security at the library airlock, there are a couple of things on the shelves here that are definitely higher tier than normal. Generally pistols, a bit of ammo is going to be found and some craftables. So definitely check those out if you spawn here. Generally, you can be pretty safe when you spawn at library. There's a little bit of looting to the left and you're heading a long way before you run into workshop. So if you don't want to find any PVP, I would head that way. And if you want to find PVP and players right away, then I would head to the right of library towards gym and visitation. One thing to note about library is that upper walkway area behind me upstairs. There's no loot up there. So don't worry about that. It's a good advantageous spot if you have people pushing you to go up there. But generally for loot, don't even worry about it. And then we've got ourselves a secret stash here. Also seen in a couple of my other secrets of the UA update videos. So definitely check those out if you haven't already. And we'll just keep moving and, and looting through the library area. Now, hey, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and comment in the section below what you guys want to see next now that we're done the poi map guide videos we'll probably be doing things like ship stuff merchant ship cap ship things like that and then we'll go into a bit more detail on certain parts of the game now we're hitting up one of the two staff rooms with a bit of ammo and med just an ammo crate and med bag but it's a nice little boutique security area that i would always check out it's got windows so you can make sure you can shoot from inside as well as one of the two underground maintenance walkway areas you can go in here with a lock pick and get yourself 
a fair amount of stuff. Generally a lot of the blue toolboxes, as well as there's the black purses for money. Generally this is a great location to try and find a blowtorch for going upstairs. So definitely check these out if you do have lockpicks and obviously going to be a good source of money and income for you and your homies. Now there's always going to be two ways to get to these. So if you ever get attacked down here, there's not much cover. I would suggest trying to flush out the other side. Uh, just don't be stuck down there and try to take a fight on. Okay. Okay. So we've made our way to dorms. Not a very great location for looting. There's sometimes some craftable stuff, some industrial paper or chemicals that spawn in here. But generally I wouldn't suggest coming in here for any high tier loot. I've never really seen any full blown fights in prison. There are some teams that come here, but generally prison is one of those places that people like to avoid. So sometimes you can capitalize on that, get in here and do a lot of looting, check out a lot of different things around the map and get yourself acquainted with it. All right, making our way to the security booth right outside of workshop. This is another great location. Unfortunately, there's no way out. So if you get stuck in here, you're pretty screwed. So just be really careful about looting in here and having somebody cover that doorway. Now again, workshop is one of the two locations where you spawn in and you have a relatively safe buffer from PVP. There are bots that spawn in here, but it's generally pretty safe and I wouldn't really count on too much loot going on in here. There's a couple of cardboard boxes, but really that's about it. So try to make your way out of there as soon as possible. On the map, it does show three different types of naming for this area because there are three different areas in this workshop. I wouldn't get too worried about getting hung up on where you are because I've never really had too many crazy fights in workshop, but maybe it's good to check out just in case. We have the side mill, we have the laundry as well as the main mill. So just make sure you know kind of where those call outs are and then you and your homies can safely navigate this area if you've got some PVP to deal with. Generally, most of the good loot is going to be in the circular part closer to the middle from workshop. And I just generally try to clear out one or two AI and then figure, okay, I'm in the clear now. I can start moving forward. I think the only reason I had to shoot so many bots in this instant was because I was just kind of kiting everybody towards me because nobody else was on the map. Okay, so we're going to be heading towards the next maintenance area closer to what I would consider canteen or kitchen. And it's pretty much a carbon copy of the other maintenance area that I showed you on the other side of the map. Just a long hallway leading to another gated area. You lockpick that and boom, you're in and you got some more good loot. Okay, heading back up through the maintenance on the other side, we're going to be coming out close to the staff area just outside of canteen. Again, great location for ammo as well as meds. And as well, if you're yearning for more meds, maybe a bit more loot, I would definitely check inside the canteen. We've got a couple of vending machines, mostly ration stuff, but there's definitely a couple of places, a couple of bodies, a couple of bags, things you can check out in here. I would be very careful if you're spawning in and just kind of looting casually in this area though, because we're starting to get close to that three airlock area, which is uh, definitely the danger zone when you spawn in. Okay, we're heading towards the canteen airlock. Nothing super notable in this area other than there is a proximity to visitation as well as the gym lockers, all those great areas to check as soon as you spawn in. There's a little bit of food in here, but definitely go to your right if you're trying to find some better food come ups as well as this little security node between canteen and visitation. This area is going to have a fair amount of things to loot. You got the body, you got the black purse, as well as the ammo crate and a bunch of different little boxes and containers. Can't tell you how many times I've ran into full blown teams just looting and not really caring about their surroundings and then killing all of them. Another good thing to know about this area is that there's metal detectors all around. If you walk through these, they're going to go off. So make sure you're listening for that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've done a cursory search of everything around the circle. Now it's time to head into the circle. The beauty about this center area is that there's a lot of opportunities for PVP and that's also the major drawback. So being really careful about what you're seeing, what AI are around and what kind of angles people can get at this area is really important. Practicing that with your team is really important. There's three different layers in this middle area. So PVP can be pretty nuts. Again, if you are to commit to the center area, I would clear out as much of the outer circle as possible before coming in here just to minimize the amount of fighting that you will be doing. I wouldn't be looting those cells specifically, especially on the first and second floor. There's no secret stashes or anything to worry about in terms of decent loot that you might be missing. But the middle area is definitely important. Also, a quick little jaunt back towards the workshop area. There is a med bag here that I had forgot to loot beforehand. So definitely check that out if you're in the area. Okay, so heading back to the center spire or the center tower, the second and third floor are going to be your best bet, especially for defending against other teams pushing up that area and generally just for better loot. This downstairs area is kind of a bit of an exposed spot. You're going to be making a lot of noise having to shoot these wooden planks 
bricks to get in through the bottom floor, but it's definitely the lesser of two evils than having to push through the second floor up onto the walkway area. Okay, so on the first floor of the tower, we've got a lockbox here. There's a couple of containers. Generally, the higher you go up, the better the loot is going to be, but also being really careful to know that either there's a team waiting for you at the top of the tower or not, because they definitely got the good advantage there. As you can see, there's a lot of AI in this area, so finding the inner tower is definitely a good place for cover and trying to wait for them to rush into you, fight you there. Coming up to the second floor, we've got an ammo box here, as well as the smallest footlocker you'll ever find in the game. What is this, a footlocker for ants? And another great reason for maybe rushing the center tower for defensive reasons is also to check these security camera TVs. You know, also the ammo crate. Yeah, yeah. But also, yeah, the security cameras and their televisions. You got gym, workshop, and what looks like to be just outside of gym again? I'm not sure, but those are pretty handy to use. I haven't used them personally, but it's always fun to have new and exciting things in a game like this. Okay, so we've got ourselves on the third floor of the tower. There's another ammo crate here, as well as coming across to the other side of the entrance towards the vault area. This first door on the right, you've got yourself your second and final secret stash. Now, the great thing about this new update is that when you're going into the vault area, those metal detectors are always going to go off. So that's an extra added bonus for understanding if people are above you or as you're looting, you have people coming in and crouching on you. One side of the entrance has two metal detectors and the other side only has one. So you can always listen in and see what direction they're coming from if you're in the armory and they're attacking. Also, it's comforting to know that there's only two objectives on Penal Colony. One waiting in the armory area, which is right outside the vault, as well as going over to the prisoner manifest, which is in the office room area, just past the bunks right in here. But first we'll check out some of the containers, some of the bodies, as well as a black purse. So there's some good food in here as well as good money and loot. Okay, heading towards the office where you've got the manifest on the table right in front of me as well as an ammo crate underneath. Good loot generally on the table to the right as you come inside as well as these lockers. Now escaping the third floor office area is always interesting. Coming through onto the third floor, you have a couple of decisions on either potting out immediately from the second floor pod escape area or jumping down all three floors onto kind of a strategic drop down to towards workshop or making your way through the middle tower uh, to disseminate kind of in a specific direction that you're trying to escape towards uh, an airlock or a ship that you have parked that you don't want to loot. Now going through the center tower is always going to be the riskiest because you will be exposed to AI as well as maybe marauders that are sticking around. So my favorite way to escape is generally going through the left double metal detector area and immediately jumping off the railing down to that landing where you can head towards workshop or wherever you need to go just getting out of the central area ASAP. The second best option would be to go towards the center tower and jump down the railing towards the second floor pod escape area. That's always going to be really clean and quick uh, and definitely the second less risky option. All right so once I'm done shooting this AI make my way through the first area on the right the walkway that led us to the armory in the first place. Head towards the right where you can see that railing and just jump down and you've got your pods right in front of you there. Just got a couple more pesky AI to deal with and we're home free. There's also one final lockbox to check right by the pod area. And yeah, definitely check that out. I think there's a compact container as well. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the map guide video series. Hopefully everybody's enjoyed themselves. If there's anything guys missed, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are liking the content, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. It'll be always great for the algorithmos. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.